a woman at your office is pregnant. She's going to miss some work and cost the company money. So is the company free to pay her less or even fire her? Oh, wait, I'm not even allowed to say that. Do you want some milk? Carrie Lucas is a working mom, vice president of the Independent Women's Forum. She's a writer, and sometimes she's on TV debating issues. These lawsuits I don't think are going to accomplish much. Last summer, Carrie became pregnant. Again. This will be my third maternity leave in, in four years, and it does mean that I have to take time off. Oh, my goodness. Holly Waters took time off, too, years ago when her daughter was born. But she didn't want to take that time off. When she became pregnant, she was a sales consultant for the drug maker Novartis. She says she was a top performer with a promising career. I thought, wow, this will be a company I want to be with for a very long time. But then, once she told her boss she was pregnant, I was constantly being um, harassed, and I was almost being pushed out the door. And just as she was about to go on maternity leave, she was fired. I was seven and a half months pregnant. There was, there was no way I was going to be able to go out and find a job at this at this point. But Holly knew that the law is on her side. <laughs> An outgrowth of the women's movements is the law that says it's illegal to fire or not hire a woman because she's pregnant. Today, employers are warned in a job interview, you must never even ask questions like, are you pregnant? Or even, might you start a family? If Congress thought the Pregnancy Discrimination Act would end discrimination, they were wrong. Company after company has been sued. And in recent years, complaints have steadily gone up. Even this maternity clothing chain was sued. And now Holly and some 5,000 other women are suing Novartis. All the companies deny doing anything wrong. And Novartis points out that Working Mother magazine named them as one of the 100 best companies. Holly's lawyer, David Sanford, says that's nonsense, and he's filed a class action lawsuit. The message is, if you get pregnant, you're in trouble at Novartis. Sanford wants Novartis to pay his clients and his law firm more than $200 million. The lawsuit, he says, will teach Novartis and other companies not to discriminate. If you're pregnant... There are certain protections in place, and there should be certain protections in place. Can you be in charge of that one? Just hold it. It may surprise you that Carrie Lucas doesn't agree. If my employer decides they no longer want me as an employee, then it should be their right to fire me. I understand the desire for people to have government step in and try to protect women, but there's real cost to government intervention. These costs are rarely talked about publicly, but it is a fact that once Congress creates some special protected groups, some employers avoid hiring people who fall into those groups. For example, after the Americans with Disabilities Act became law, it was assumed more disabled people would enter the workplace. But that didn't happen. A study by economists at MIT found employment actually dropped sharply. Likewise, the Pregnancy Act can create problems for women. Sometimes the laws that are intended to help women like me actually end up hurting women like me. All of a sudden, a potential employer is looking at me and thinking, she just might turn around and sue us. That makes it less likely that I'm going to get hired. Because you're a kind of lawsuit bomb. Exactly. When you do things like create uh, discrimination laws, you raise the cost of hiring a woman like me. And while some pregnant women work harder than any man, Lucas says, let's be honest, most pregnant women impose costs on employers. A lot of responsibilities are shifted. Each time I go to a doctor's appointment, that means that I'm unavailable to, to do whatever work needs to be done during that time, which means one of my colleagues is often picking up the slack. Lucas and her boss made a deal that works for both of them. It's all voluntary. I love you. She works fewer hours and also earns less. Both sides consider that fair. Some companies say laws like this and lawsuits like yours make it tougher for women because a company doesn't want to hire a woman who might get pregnant because they're scared of you and your lawsuits. If they do take that position, they'd be violating the law. If companies lose money uh, because of it, and they may, uh, that's not necessarily a bad thing from a societal perspective. But whose company is it? If you're free to join the company or leave, aren't they free to pay you what they think you're worth or fire you? That would be true if we didn't have laws preventing that discrimination. And we do have those laws. So it raises the question, how would the job market work without discrimination laws? You don't have to hire me, and I don't have to work for you. But if that's the case, who would hire pregnant women? 
I think plenty of employers would hire pregnant women. E A L L. Women are incredibly productive um, members of the workforce. We have a lot to offer. If an employer is going to discriminate against enough people, it's going to be bad for them in the long run. It's a bad business practice, and that's the that's the best way to prevent discrimination.